It's Craig Petty here with Elvian Magic talking about another item. This one is called Billy Bones and the Curse of Davy Jones. This is a fantastic item. I've been doing this for three years. Uh, Alec actually gave me uh, the honour of actually writing the routine for this. It's got a very rich history. I know Michael J. Fitch uses this prop all of the time. I use this prop all the time. In fact, I do a big pirate-themed illusion show. And even though we're using big illusions all the way through, we actually open the whole show with this trick. It's fantastic, it packs very flat into your table, uh, it's an instant reset and it works great. Even though uh, it's about a skeleton, it works outside of Halloween, it works all year round, it works in pirate shows. Um, I'll give you a brief idea of the presentation. So, what you do is you say to the kids, who likes pirates? Who's seen Pirates of the Caribbean? I was a character in Pirates of the Caribbean that you might not have heard of before. His name is Billy Bones. And Billy Bones was cursed. You see, he was a mighty pirate. He was stealing some pirate treasure one day. And what happened is he, he died. And the curse brought him back to life. Now, that doesn't sound too bad, but he got brought back to life as a skeleton. And then the curse goes on because every time he goes to sleep at night, he wakes up standing on his head. Can you imagine how silly that is? You go to sleep at night, you wake up standing on your head. That's a little bit weird. Uh, this is Davy Jones's locker. This is where Mr. Billy Bones goes to sleep. I'll introduce you to him. Uh, this, there he is, is Billy Bones. This is Billy Bones. Now, let me explain to you how this curse works, okay? What happens is he goes to sleep at night and he wakes up standing on his head. So what happens, first of all, his legs go to sleep. Then, his middle goes to sleep. And then, his head goes to sleep. So he goes to sleep at night. Everything's fine. He's a skeleton, but don't worry, it's all good. He goes to sleep at night, and when he wakes up, he wakes up standing on his... Oops, there you go. Standing on his head. Can you imagine how silly that is? Can you imagine going to sleep at night and waking up standing on your head? Look, let's try that again. Make sure that I'm doing this right. Are these his legs? The kids go, yeah. There, his, his legs go to sleep. Is this his middle? Yes. Then his middle goes to sleep. Is this his head? Yes. Right, his head goes to sleep. There we go. Goes to sleep. He wakes up in the morning and he wakes up standing on his head. This is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm going to tell you right now, there is only one way to break this curse. But I'll need everyone's help. Will you help me? And they say yes. He said, okay, I'll tell you what. I'll take his middle and I'll take his legs and I'll put his middle and his legs inside here, inside the, uh, the locker. And now what we need to do is we need to try and break the curse so he can go to sleep at night and not have any problems. Now how he does this, how we do this, is we have to find the bag that the cursed treasure was in that he stole. Now luckily I've spent years searching and I actually found the bag that the treasure was in. Now obviously we've got a problem right now because there's no treasure in there, it's just, it, it's empty. But this is the actual bag that the treasure, the pirate treasure was in. So we're going to try and do this. What we're going to do we need to use our head. Well, we don't need to use our head. We need to use Billy's head. I'm going to put Billy's head right here. And I want everybody to shout the magic words. Billy Bones! And now we've... Still got a head. <laughs> no, you need to shout a little bit louder. Let's try again. Everyone shout Billy Bones! And you go, well, wow. Oh, wow. That's fantastic. We've got, um, we've got one piece of treasure. We've got two pieces of treasure. We've got three pieces of treasure. In fact, the head is gone. We've just got tons and tons and tons and tons of treasure. Everything is gone. No head. The treasure's back. And if the treasure's back, that means the curse has been lifted. And Billy Bones will be able to sleep soundly at night. And then he's fallen over because he's so excited about it. So that is Billy Bones. Now, it comes with everything. It comes with all of the um, blocks. It comes with the, uh, the actual... Um, this is made out of metal because it's really, really well made. It will last a lifetime. Uh, and it comes with all of the pirate treasure. Now, you can pick up more of these if you want to. And the reason I say this is because what I do when I do this trick is the, the kid that's come up to help me, I actually give them one of these pirate coins to keep, which works really well. And, and like I say, it packs really flat into the table because all you need to do is just put all this into the bag and then just put this inside the, uh, the locker. I tend to wrap an elastic band around to keep it in place. And then you're good. It takes up very little space in your table, but it is a really, really commercial routine. Guys, it's called Billy Bones and the Curse of David Jones, and I hope you enjoy it.